¿Y ahora tú qué tienes? ¿Qué? ¿No me vas a hablar? No puedo. Estoy muerto. When I saw the movie Roma, I saw myself and I said, this is what I do. This is my life. ¿Qué haces? Ya dime. No puedo. Estoy muerta. Even though the movie was set in the 1970s in Mexico, I am one of over two million domestic workers who face similar struggles in the United States today. Roma is sparking a much needed conversation about the value of domestic work. The reality is one in four domestic workers live in poverty because we were excluded from minimum wage and overtime protections. We suffer abuse from employers behind the closed doors because we have been excluded from the basic workplace protection against discrimination and sexual harassment. This is 2019 America. It's time for change. These injustices are rooted in the legacy of slavery. In the 1930s, when other workers were gaining labor protection under the New Deal, guarantee to labor adequate pay and proper conditions of work. Lawmakers in the South specifically excluded domestic workers from those labor rights. They didn't want to give an inch to their own black employees, and they didn't see women's work in the home as being real work. And as for coloring, I've been a nanny for over 18 years. I migrated from St. Lucia, where I worked with the Attorney General. I was hired to take care of the children, but I had to clean the bathrooms, I had to dust, I had to mop with no extra pay. Years ago, one of my employers left dog poop for me to pick up. I said, no, this has gone far enough. I continued speaking up and eventually I was fired. There's a scene in the movie Roma that spoke to me. En la orilla. The scene where the family's at the beach. The main character, Cleo, the domestic worker, cannot swim. Paco, vas para acá. But when the children strayed too far into the ocean, she didn't think for one second. She went in after them to save them. She put her life on the line. I put my life on hold. I didn't have kids to take care of the kids of the families I worked with. The 1930s are over. We're calling on Congress to pass the first National Bill of Rights for domestic workers. It provides us with safe and healthy working conditions, paid sick leave, paid overtime, freedom from sexual harassment and discrimination, fair scheduling practices, and more. We've already passed laws like this in eight states and the city of Seattle. To those watching from Congress, I urge you to follow the lead of Senator Kamala Harris and Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal, who are co-sponsoring the first national bill. Think back to the domestic worker that raised you, the domestic worker that's currently cleaning your home and watching your kids. They are the ones that make it possible for you to go to work. Think about how you would feel going into work with no worker rights.